Hello, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are at Darnell's Landing in uh, down near Churchill, Tennessee. And we're going to fly up toward uh, Castlewood and St. Paul area. Uh, let's go ahead and get takeoff. Over the nose. I have to make a big turnaround here when we get airborne. Nice weather. No flaps. Whoa, what's going on here? Give ourselves some throttle. Okay, now we can make a turn. Well, I don't want to turn that way because there is a flight restriction over there that is Holston Defense, I think. So we will be turning this direction. Hey, we've got flash cargo out today flying around. So just uh, south of Churchill, Tennessee. We're going to be heading north, almost due north. into Virginia try to get there as quickly as we can and we'll just talk about the flight um, kinda what I'm doing here with this uh, Light. So we're leaving uh, up there is Kingsport, Tennessee. Uh, this is the Holston River, I guess. North Fork of Holston. I'm not sure which fork. We got Holston. Is that Holston Defense over there? I think it is. I guess this is 11, 11 W. Heads down into Knoxville. We're flying north. We're going to cross into Virginia shortly. We could follow the train tracks. I like following train tracks when I'm uh, flying around. Nice river system. Kingsport, Tennessee, Gate City, up that way, just can't see it over the, there we go, Gate City is right there where the cut is. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to come over this mountain that's in front of us. Uh, it's called the Clinch Mountain. It's like a big range that goes all the way up past my house, and, uh, up towards Roanoke that way. Mountain. Oh, set our barometer here. We're at 2,200 feet. Should see some train tracks soon. If not, we'll just we'll just continue on. On the other side of that mountain is a road. We can pick up the road uh, on the other side of that road is a river and a town called Clinch Port. Uh, Clinch Port is on the Clinch River. We're going to be following the river east towards its headwaters. And I should probably ascend instead of descend. So let's get to watching what we're doing here. A little bit of cloud layer down low. I don't think we'll... maybe to the east there's some cloud layer, but I think we're good here, so. Might get into some weather later, but everything's good here.
So we're going to follow the Clinch River. I kind of like the Clinch River, close to where I live, biggest river around, etc., etc. And it is kind of interesting. It's uh, you hear things, and I don't know. I don't do research on it, <laughs> but it has. It's as. It's as. In regards to the, you know, the life that's in the Clinch River, it's as diverse as the Amazon. I mean, there's, it, it, I guess it would be an ancient river. This is an ancient river. Uh, these mountains are some of the oldest mountains on the planet. So this river called the Clinch River I don't know, if you want to do some research into it, Clinch, Clinch, C-L-I-N-C-H, River. Very diverse river, very diverse, very diverse. Okay, we're getting ready to cross the Clinch Mountain. <clears throat> And I've got the highway. I'm looking for a cut. You can see the valley here. I'm looking for a cut. Uh, down this way. It's down this way. We'll slow our ascent right here. Kind of descend a little bit. Uh, this is Highway 23. It's running north. I think Highway 23 runs all the way to Michigan. We could fly this road right here all the way to Michigan. But it takes a north heading right here as it came through this valley. And if I can find the clinch. If I can find Clinch Port, uh, we'll keep the road to our left. Might be over this next ridge here. I'm not 100% sure. You just have to find it. There's the train tracks going across. That train track going across the four lane just came through the mountain, uh, the tunnel. Oh, it looks like there's some cloud layer up toward St. Paul area. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we're catching a little wind there, climbing. Okay, this is the Clinch River. We're picking it up now, coming down this valley, but it turned for some reason and cut through here for some reason during the past million years. I don't know how old the river is. You should see Clinchport. Yes. Okay, so we're we're above Clinchport. And we're gonna be following this river. Should go up right up through here. From Clinch Port. The Port of Clinch. <laughs> uh, you can follow 23 on up toward uh, Wise County and uh, Powell Valley. Very nice looking uh, scenery that way. It's kind of getting low. And we'll fly up this. Uh, river. Very interesting to me, the river. Because you can see how it come down this valley. It's coming down this valley and then it says, nope, I'm going to go that way and jump over into that valley. What caused it? Was there a shift in the ground? I don't know. Did another stream from the north cut through 
a long time before the Clinch River became the Clinch River. So there was an already a natural cut going through there. Interesting. You can see how some of the, the breaks, the, uh, the little valleys here, they cut through. They could be cut by water, they could be cut by wind. It could just be softer rock that got eroded millions of years ago. These, these mountains, like I said, oldest mountains on the planet. So we're following the Clinch River east toward St. Paul. And of course, rivers take the you know the least resistance. I know all that. But if if there was a rock slide from you know a mountain, it could change the course of a river depending on when it happened and prior to uplift. Because it's a slow river; it just meanders, you know, back and forth and back and forth. A slow river. The further west you get, I think it runs into Norris Lake. Is it Norris? Norris Lake? Douglas? Norris Lake? Not for sure. <laughs> but you can kind of see the valley, how, you know, we're just sticking to the valley, sticking to the. A little bit of up. Trim up here. still see the river and you know it floods of course it floods it almost looked like it wanted to go that way don't it <laughs> through that little section but it can't so we've got the train track we've got the road we've got the river everything following this little um, stretch We're on an easterly course, following the mountains. Yeah, I think we're going to get into some low cloud. Cloud layers. We are going to turn north here. You can see the train track. Oh, there's a train there. There's a, actually a train. <laughs> a train. Yeah. There we go. Those sh cars shining. These are typically coal train. Could be some fly ash cars in there as well. And we're gonna just go ahead and kind of cut this way because it's gonna come back. <laughs> it's gonna come back to us. Should probably gain a little altitude here. <clears throat> there we go. Got the river. Looking over the nose. Oh, looking over the nose. I like this view. Can't get used to it though. way I usually fly looking looking out this way so I can keep the um, gauges somewhat where I need them we got really low <laughs> we got really low we've got some wind coming from that direction kind of blowing us into this hill into this hill here but we're just following the river and the train tracks and the road actually I think the road goes around we didn't stick with the river 
as we built roads. We went our own way. I'm not sure I think this is Dungannon. We are getting a little bit of push from that wind here. I don't I don't think this is Dungannon. I think it may be Fort Blackmore, old forts back in the day, Fort Blackmore. <clears throat> Beautiful country. I got High Knob up that way. Is it up that way or that way? I think it's over that way. So we're still following the Clinch River. Oh. Just make sure we're staying above the trees. Good farmland, I guess, you know, around. I guess when it floods, brings all those minerals down, yada, yada, yada. And I don't know how often it floods. We get a flood every 20 years or so here, big ones. Flood of 57, flood of 77. Had a big snowfall in 95, I'm sure. That swelled the river up. But, you know, near the headwaters, the headwaters are about 60 miles away. So you can see how if it's raining at the headwaters, it can get bad down here overnight. I mean, I've, I've camped on the river before, and our chairs where we were fishing that night, the next morning, they're two or three inches underwater. Uh, the, the feet, the legs of the chairs. So it can it can swell up if uh, you know if something's blocking it down this way and we've got lots of rain uh, east of us that, that can happen. Kind of uh, kind of eerie. <laughs> Watch your weather reports. Okay, so we are coming up on... <clears throat> I'm looking for a, a big major road that cuts through. It might be right up here. I'm looking for a town called uh, Dungannon. Oh, I think this might be a train. This is, um, mm, this might be Dungannon. The train. There's a big sawmill or something down here. And still at the river below us. And here again, the river doesn't really follow the valley that it was that it was originally in. It's going to jump <clears throat> over to another valley. So you know you're you got a river coming down this valley, and up there it's like nope, I'm going to go over there, and it goes down another valley, <laughs> and then something over here is blocking it. So, see, I mean, it looks like something came down that little holler, a stream at one time, and made a cut. And when the Clinch River eventually got to here, it followed that previously. Yeah, I think this is uh, Dungannon. There's the bridge. I think. So, we're going to jump. We're going to jump over to the next valley. 
because that's what the river did. Clinch River. Yeah, check it out. It's supposed to be bio, more biological crazy number, as, as the Amazon, or, you know, as any other big thing you always hear David Attenborough talking about, you know. Hey, Sir David Attenborough, come over and do a bit on the Clinch River. So now we're in this little tight narrow valley. Let's see if we can pick up the river. Make sure it's still down there. I think I caught wind. I think I caught a little bit of it. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Underneath us. Oh, we got some fog up here. I came this way right here because we were over in that one in, in that valley we came to this little narrow valley here which is really crappy but this river takes a major turn to the north and then quickly it jumps again it jumps this valley again Geologically, you know, over time, a flat land and a slow meandering river, as the land uplifts slowly and slowly and uplifts slowly and slowly, the river cuts its way through whatever's happening. See, we are cutting through this again. We're going to lose it a little bit, but. It, it just it stays in this next valley right here it stays in it um, we'll pick it up on the other side of this little cloud bank here this little fog bank IRL it's in the middle of the night I've just changed this is live weather for the middle of the night here in uh, southwest Virginia and um, I just changed the time. So this is fog. Coming over fog. And it usually hangs with the river anyway, so. But we are flying into a little cloud bank, but we'll come out of it. The river is right down here. And the river chooses to stay in this valley. <laughs> For a while, uh, at least. We can just see the clearing up there of Virginia City. Uh, it's a uh, power plant. They put a power plant in there, and that was the construction there. We do have the river off of the nose. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is right there, coming through coming under the plane. And it's following the train tracks. You know, that's what the train did. It followed the river. But occasionally the train says Nope, we're not going down that way. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna stay in this valley, and uh, you'll just have to deal with it. We have the river here. Yeah, it's still under us. Right here we go. Lynch River. And we're coming up on the town of St. Paul and Castlewood. Uh, I see our airport right over there. It's a grass strip. Line W. Here's the river and the train track.
and it chooses to stay inside this valley on up off the nose. Uh, we may fly up that way tomorrow. Or today. It doesn't look like it's going to get too bad. But So we've got St. Paul off the nose. We'll come in. I believe we'll come in this way. Let's uh, go ahead and slow down. We'll get ready to land. Looking for the airport. Oh, yeah, got the airport. Here we come. And one flap. One more flap. We're coming in kind of hot, so. Oh, now I get a tailwind of one knot. Okay. <laughs> coming in over Route 58. That was a little rough. All right. Well, welcome to St. Paul <laughs> and Castlewood. I hope you liked the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.